All right, so we're here in Eclipse still, so let's close the welcome screen, and then we should be able to click on this little arm, and Robot Builder should open. Um, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, on OS 10, I haven't gotten it to work, so we're going to have to open up the Robot Builder jar ourselves. It's really simple. It's in our home directory under WPI lib, tools, and then it's right there, Robot Builder. All right. Now, Robot Builder is a really nice and versatile tool to build skeleton code for your robot. So when you open it, it'll probably ask you to create a, a new one. So we'll just click new. So now we want to name the robot. We're going to call this YouTube Demo Bot. And then give it a team number, uh, whatever your team number is, and we'll click Create Project. All right. So now. This is Robot Builder. This is the Robot Builder UI, and it, it works. It works, you know, quite well. So, the way Robot Builder works is you've got three different categories under your robot. You've got your subsystems, you've got your OI, and then you've got the commands. So, for this, let's make the robot drive forward. Well, we'll do arcade drive, so you can have one joystick. So. We'll go to subsystems, we'll right click add subsystem, we're going to call this drivetrain, and then under the drivetrain we're going to add controller robot drive 2. Mm -hmm. That assumes you have two motors or four motors, but two of them are connected. Anyways, you should know that. So we've got our robot drive, and then under robot drive we're going to add speed controller, and we're also going to add our second speed controller. So I'm just going to call this right and left. All right, and you can also change your controllers to whatever you want. They all pretty much function the same. So, and then we have to go to robot drive, and then we're going to say that the left motor is left and the right motor is the right. You can also do uh, motor inversion from here. So now we're going to add a command, and we're going to call this arcade drive. All right, and it's going to require the drivetrain. All right, so now we can go ahead and save it. So I'll save it to my desktop as YouTube, YouTube demo bot. All right, and it's going to save as a YAML file. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and export that as Java. And now we go into Eclipse, and we'll go File, Open Project from File System, Directory. We'll go to our workspace, and then we'll choose the project. We'll click Open, and then click Finish. Let that import, and then we're able to open it right in here. Oh, one thing I forgot to make a drive. We're also going to need a stick, so a joystick. We'll just call that um, joystick. So save. Java, and everything should update automatically. If it doesn't, you're going to need to go into Eclipse, Preferences, General, Workspace, and you're going to need to make sure these four boxes are checked, and then click Apply and OK. So we do get an error now that we added the joystick, so we're just going to pop open oi.java, and we're just going to need to, we're going to need to import the joystick library from WPI lib. All right, now that that's resolved, we shouldn't need to touch that part. But we sh the only thing we're going to be editing right now is the arcade drive Java and the drivetrain.java. So now we're going to open up the drivetrain first, and then we're going to do a public void, and then we're going to call this arca uh, arcade drive, and then joystick uh, stick. All right. So we're going to need to import the joystick library. All right. And then we're also going to need to do public void uh, drive straight. And that is a double. Now we're going to call that speed. All right. So now for this, we're going to go robot drive dot arcade drive stick. Alright, and then we're going to go 
robot drive dot tank drive. And then we're going to do speed and speed. All right. So that's it for the drive train. Let's head into the arcade drive dot Java. So when we initialize it, we want robot dot drive train dot arcade drive and then robot.oi dot get joystick. All right. Or I don't think we want that in the initialize, but we're going to want that in the execute. And then in the end, we're going to want robot dot drivetrain dot drive straight. Then we're going to set that to zero. All right, and if it's interrupted, we want to run the end function. All right, so now we save that, and to run it, you're going to click this run, and then WPI lib java deploy. All right, um, now you might get an error. Well, first off, I'm getting an error because I'm not connected to the robot. But if you're getting a team number error, go into preferences and then WPI lib, and then enter your team number there. Um, anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, peace.